working in your inventor IDW or DWG, the 2D environment of your of your in, in inventor package, uh, you will notice in the browser that we've got something called drawing resources. So in your drawing resources, you'll see there that I've got a couple different folders over here. Uh, first one we take a look at is your sheet formats, and sheet formats has got sort of pre-configured sheet sizes with pre-configured views. So for instance, if I had to choose this A0 size 7 views, um, while opening up a, a part or maybe putting in an assembly, it will open up an A0 size piece of paper and then it will put seven views of the part or assembly that I'm trying to place um, on my sheet. Uh, you've got your borders as well. So, you know, your default border, we've got a, a default border over here. If you want to, um, you know, maybe make a couple of different borders, A3, A4, A2, are you able to then choose that and drag and drop it or just right click and insert it onto uh, the drawing or onto the sheet. We've got title blocks, so you can pre-configure a whole lot of different title blocks. Um, you know, maybe one that's running vertically or one that's running horizontally, depending on what you are trying to detail. Uh, we've got sketch symbols, um, and we've also got some AutoCAD blocks over here. So today what we're going to take a look at is your sketch symbols. And to create a sketch symbol, you can right click, and we've got a couple different options. So create a new folder. So if I create a new folder, I'm going to say hazardous. Um, has so just, okay, so I just want to maybe create some warning signs for myself, poison, uh, caution, slippery, you know, whatever it is. So um, if I right click again, you can see that I can insert um, from a, a, a library of, of, of um, sketch symbols that we created. But first of all, we're going to take a look at defining a new symbol. So when I define a new symbol, um, I can go and uh, just start sketching. So you'll see that my sketch environment has been activated. And I will just go and start drawing. So on that over there, just draw this little rectangle. I'm going to go and dimension it and say this dimension is uh, maybe 100. Um, and then this dimension must be 100 divided by 3, for instance. So you can have your relationships um, in your sketch, in your IDW for your sketch symbols as well. Uh, let's go put in some circles over here. And uh, with these circles, uh, we can go and say that they both are equal. And then as well as just constrain them so that they all lie um, horizontal to each other. So these actually do have to lie in the center. Okay, I don't have to do that. And then uh, I'm going to just go and dimension and make sure that it's a certain distance uh, from the edge of the wall over there. Okay, so we've got our dimensions. I want to make this left dimension equal to the dimension on the right, and we've got our sketch symbol. So now what we can do is we can save this. So finish sketch and give it a name. Uh, just make it base hazard and save that. Now you'll notice in your, your drawing resources and your sketch symbols, you've got now the base hazard sketch symbol. Um, if you had a whole lot of different sketch symbols you want to sort of put into folders so that it just organize a little bit better, uh, we can just drag and drop that into the folder that we want. So it was now in the hazardous folder. To insert the sketch symbol, I can just right click on it and say insert. And then we can go insert a whole lot of these different symbols. Um, on the right or the left hand side of you in the browser, you'll notice that I've actually created five different base hazards and you'll see it highlights on the screen as I click on each one. If I open up a new sheet, okay, we're able to go and insert that same um, sketch symbol as well. So right click insert, we go change that, or sorry, insert four of those over there. Now, what happens if we go and change or edit one of the, the, the symbols? So right click, uh, oh, so let's just go up to the sketch symbol over here. Right click edit. Okay, and we can say, right, you know, we're actually going to maybe put in just two lines running down over there. Save it, save the edits to that base hazard, and you'll notice there that on sheet two, um, all the blocks have been edited, um, you know, sort of modified, as well as all the blocks on sheet one. Now, what happens if we want to share uh, these, these sketch symbols or these blocks uh, with other drawings or, or someone else? Um, what we can do over there is then save it to the symbol library. So the symbol library can either be saved locally on your, your local drive, or you can save it on the server and point everyone to it so that everyone has access to this symbol library. Save to symbol library. Uh, you'll see over there, I've already 
uh, saved to diamond and diamond stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, it's going to save it in that uh, IDW over there. I'm going to go save. And there it should have saved in my as my base has it. So let's go open up a new drawing. So we'll open up a new IDW and see how we can drag that uh, sketch symbol that we just created into this. So it's a brand new drawing. If I take a look at my drawing resources under my sketch symbol, there's nothing there. Right click on the sketch symbol and select insert. And it will bring up my sketch symbols. And you'll see there that I've got face hazard available to me. So the options I've got over here is I can scale it, I can rotate it, have symbol click, clip, clipping, static, leader, and visible. Okay, so you can put a leader on this and make it either visible or invisible. So I'm going to take the leader off for this one, select OK, click to place, and there we go. Now, with, if I select the sketch symbol, you'll notice there that I've got some uh, grips over here. And these grips, for instance, would allow me to move it around the IDW and allow me to rotate as well as scale up and down. So you, know, you might want to scale it because the, the drawing that you're putting on could be an A1. So you, you know, you've created it. Um, it's got its aspect ratio, but you want it just to be bigger or smaller, depending on the size of the, the drawing that you've got as well as the piece of paper. OK, so sketch symbols, um, once again, very much similar to your AutoCAD blocks. Um, so, you know, once again, you know, the Autodesk team, uh, you know, bringing some great functionality from AutoCAD um, you know, into our in inventor package uh, with these, uh, these sketch symbols over there. Thank you very much for watching.